Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be talking about the brand new progression system and what you guys need to know about it. The new DLC that's coming around, uh, at the time you record this video it is almost midnight so today, or I guess technically tomorrow, we'll be getting the new best pin map added to this game. Now of course we're going to get into that, all that stuff, don't worry about it, but if you guys could do me a really quick favor before we start the video and uh, if you end up enjoying it, please make sure you do leave a thumbs up as it does help me out greatly. Subscribe if you are new to this channel, I would appreciate that a lot and uh, without too much talking guys, let's go ahead and get started so we have some new battlefront stuff coming around and in fact what i was saying earlier tomorrow is going to be the release of the best map that is actually from the first star wars battlefront and they're bringing it into this game now with the tomorrow's update there's going to be no new heroes or anything like that just the best map but we also know about the brand new progression system that we're getting which is a big talking point for a lot of people they want to know what's going to be changing what i should spend my crafting parts on is microtransactions coming back all that kind of stuff will be answered here honestly when it comes to the best map there really isn't that much to it's going to be nice it's going to be cool it's something that we've played before and i definitely will be streaming it as i think will be a lot of fun but uh that's not the biggest thing that i want to talk about today because there's there's more pressing matters such as the reintroduction of new cosmetics with you know micro dlc the new uh, progression system and all of that now i will quickly explain the most condensed way of the new progression system that i possibly can essentially what this boils down to is that you have two choices when it comes to how you want to spend your crafting parts right now and an easy way to think about this is that one of these choices is going to affect gameplay and the other one is not so you have really two options here you can number one spend your crafting parts on what's going to be called uh skill points these are essentially how you like upgrade your cards you know what i mean like in the game we have our, our basically three cards that, that that we can run on each trooper each hero and there's different tiers in them there's up to four levels so if, let's say you have an all level four hero you probably spend a lot of crafting parts trying to get that so you can use these crafting parts and just upgrade all of your actual troopers and uh, you know other heroes and villains to physically change your gameplay. Or in April, you can wait and just kind of hoard and save your crafting parts at the moment because there's going to be a bunch of new cosmetics that come out with the reintroduction of crystals. And these are going to be, you know, these are actually paid with real money. They removed this from the game. It was in there at the beginning. And then we had the whole controversy with the big microtransactions and they ended up removing it eventually, but they're bringing it back now with with a less pay to win system than how it was at the beginning so it's much much tweaked down you don't really need to worry about that anymore but you right now you do have the option to buy cosmetics now these are probably going to be a mixture of some skins that we've seen in the past like from the first battlefront and then maybe also an addition of some new ones and while cosmetics are cool just me personally speaking i really don't care about them that much you know what i mean like i don't care if i have a darth vader with a slightly different look or whatever you know it doesn't really make a difference to me i more care about how my characters are actually going to perform in game in the gameplay wise but i know that a lot of people are into the whole cosmetic option and making your character look as sweet as possible it is a cool thing but it's not high on my priority list so it boils down to you can save up crafting parts and, and open boxes to upgrade your heroes and your troopers and and to get them better cards and the skill points and whatnot but you can also save all of your currency for when the new cosmetics come out now you do have the option to do both if you wanted to spend your current stuff on upgrading all of your cards and then you can actually buy the cosmetics with real money if you wish to do so you don't have to by any means it will be an option and i'm sure a lot of people are going to end up doing that me personally i don't know I'm, i might buy a couple things if there's anything cool but uh most of the skins probably will end up being data mined and we'll know what we're going to see before it actually comes out so you'll have some time to think about it so this is definitely a very good thing for Star Wars. We're getting, we're going in the right direction here. We still haven't had a massive DLC content drop like everybody wanting. You know, you know what I mean. Like I'm on the same page. I really want some Clone Wars stuff to come out at some point. This best map is going to be cool. New cosmetics are going to be a nice thing as well, and they're probably going to end up pushing the solo movie in May. But uh, I'm still holding out for just something completely amazing for this game. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. Are you hyped for the new progression system? Are you hyped for the new map and the cosmetics and whatnot? Or are you a little bit disappointed with the state of this game right now? And want something more such as clone wars or or different season new heroes and just what have you just actual stuff to play but anyways guys i think we can go ahead and wrap the video up here i really hope you guys did enjoy it i want to make this as descriptive but yet keep it concise as possible and easy for you guys to understand so if it was please make sure you do leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you are new to this channel i will be live streaming the new content tomorrow when it does come out as well and uh, other than that guys i really hope you enjoyed i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video peace out